All right, haven't made a video in a while. Haven't really had a lot to record, been so busy. But uh, figured I'd give you guys an update on my red pickup truck. Um, haven't really made a video on it in a while. I did a part one video to restoring this thing, and you guys seen that I pulled the cab off. Um, ended up buying a new cab down about an hour away, and the reason why was uh, the old cab the inside of the the inside of the cab corners have a like a support and they were those were completely gone um there were just so much metal work that was going to need done on it me myself couldn't have done it so i made the decision to swap the cab i didn't want to do that but that's what i did and just so i could have the the truck around for a long time it, it is kind of a bummer that it's not the original shell but Everything else will be the exact same. The dash, the seat, the doors, everything besides the cab shell is going to be on the truck. Um, and this cab had just one little pinhole in the floor that I had to fix. Other than that, it was in pretty good shape. Um, so, but as you can see, I actually got the front part of the truck painted. Um, that's not perfect. This is the first vehicle that I have uh, sprayed myself Sprayed the inside of the door jams and everything, uh, but I actually had the Everything on the truck completely media blasted down to bare metal. I sealed it in epoxy primer um, Started my bondo work there wasn't really a whole lot to do um, and then did my 2k primer and blocked it down um, primed it three times, I think, and then finish sanded it and sealed it in black and then painted it. I've still got to do the bed over here. It's still in the media blast stage that is bare, bare primer and metal there. Um, need to do a little bit of metal work on the bottom side of the bed. I just haven't been able to mess with it but having the front part of the truck done now um, besides the wet sanding and buffing I'll be able to get more motivated to start putting it back together I've got some stuff uh, on the frame back here that I need to fix better I'm not real happy with the spots I fixed on it I need to recoat the frame fix those spots um, put the new gas tank in and then I'm thinking about maybe putting the bed on the truck while doing the body work and then, you know, just plastering off the truck or just putting the um, bed on some on some uh, saw horses or something, maybe make a stand for it. That might actually be a better idea. Maybe like a roll around stand. Um, but the paint's not perfect. I'm not gonna try to hide it. I'm, Honestly, on camera, it looks a lot better than it does in person. Just uh, the base laid down really flat. I used a base clear this time. This is kind of a, not really a color code color. I kind of had a color in mind that I wanted to do and couldn't really find the right, um, couldn't really find the right color that I wanted. So I ended up getting a swatch from a place here in town, came home and did a spray out on my old hood here and ended up being about perfect. And I actually made the color a little darker by sealing the um, sealing the 2K primer with a black sealer. And I used, uh, my shop is an absolute mess, but I used that Nason 2K sealer. And this is like a really, really dark gray sealer. And it just kind of darkened it up and I'll probably end up using the same exact stuff on the bed to get the same. I'll use the same stuff on the bed to get the same color. Um, but you can see it's about, just about black, but I'm gonna have to save this and keep that. The paint I used is Axo Noble. Um, that's the clear, but the can don't really have the can don't really have a label on it, but it's Axo Noble. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Imperium, and then I used the 2K Performance Clear, and I just used a. 
I'm not a professional, so I'm not trying to be one, but uh, this is a mess. But I just bought the starting line kit from DeVille Bliss, and uh, it worked pretty good. I think uh, this one, I've, I, it's clean. It don't look like it's clean, but it is clean. I just need to clean the outside of it. But I used a 1.5 tip to spray the paint and the clear. The base coat laid down really fat, uh, really flat, but I had some problems with the clear. Um, you know, kind of with my air compressor. Uh, my air compressor kept changing my regulator on my gun because my air compressor is not a real big one, um, but it kept kind of changing my pressure. And I noticed that it wanted to be sprayed at a lower pressure. So, but uh, pretty exciting because now I can put the whole inside of the truck back together, um, start getting it taken care of. But the old, the old cab, I'm kind of all over the place here, but the old cab actually was completely rotten on the back side of the cab corners on both sides up to around about here. It was starting to rot up under here. The inner, these cab corners have inner supports inside the cab corner and those were completely gone. The outside of these were completely gone on both sides. The whole floor pan on this side was gone. The inner structure um, inside of here was gone. The, let's see. Um, both cab mounts were completely rotten and gone. The inside of the, like the kick panels were gone. It was just in really bad shape, and I've actually got the old cab sitting out there, but for a guy like me, it would have took me so long to fix that, and with them cab supports, or the actual support rails inside of here being gone, I kind of just made the decision that it was going to have to be a swap, so now it'll actually last a long time, and uh, I'm really tickled with how this is turning out so far. I've still got to do the bed, the tailgate, and the hood, the hood is actually in really bad shape. It's got some really big waves in it from a wreck I got in. I believe that's what did it, but I'm gonna try to save this hood, but I might end up using a lot of filler. So we're just gonna kind of have to see how that goes. This all needs to be sanded back down um, to bare metal. We're just gonna have to see. I'd really like to do a cow hood, but they don't make a cow hood for, um, for this style, the brick nose, they call this, they make it for the bull nose and the arrow nose, um, but they don't make it for the brick nose. So if I did want to do a cow hood, I'd have to buy another hood and buy the cow and then um, end up just making my own. So, but you can see the inside of the truck is completely, that's actually all of my stuff off my old cab. Um, all the air conditioning stuff, all the heating stuff, the steering column, this piece, everything is off of my old cab, even the trans tunnel. This is a two wheel drive truck cab. So even the trans tunnel is gonna be mine. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's coming together. I'll be a lot more motivated to get it back together now. Um, I haven't just haven't had a whole lot of time to make to make many videos, but I figured I'd put this one up as kind of a kind of an update for anyone who watches this and then kind of for myself as I go along through this project. You can see a dent here, but that's gonna be covered up by a mirror. The mirror will actually cover that whole section, so I didn't want to mess with that. It's not a not a show truck. Uh, it's just gonna be it's gonna be used but it'll it'll last so you can see the orange peel a little more in it right there from that clear shrinking down but it'll wet sand out really nice with some 12 or 1500 grit sandpaper buff really good so don't think that 
I'm going to be ending up using this engine uh, for a long term thing. I'll probably leave it in there for now, but eventually I'd like to build a, a 351 for this that uh, has a little more torque um, for pulling stuff around and everything. Not, not like a performance engine, but more like a torque truck motor. Uh, this three, little 302 just don't really have a whole lot of low end power, but. It is what it is, so I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to go back on my channel and see what it looked like the first time we painted this thing, it probably would have lasted a lot longer if I would have known about the rust and everything on the cab when we did it the last time. I think it's been 11 years ago since we painted this the last time, so. But I'm excited to start the bed. I might give you guys some more updates as I do that, and I appreciate you guys watching. I'll get the get some videos of a little F100 maybe here soon and do some polls in it and everything, but I appreciate you guys watching.